What did Gypsy Rose having a daughter and Bungie announcing the Dawn weapons coming back have in common? The potential to recreate a horrible historic event. Granted, one is on a much lesser scale than the other, but I didn't really know how else to start this video, and I hope that shit doesn't age like milk. Line in the Sand was considered to potentially be the first usable LFR, but it never did get to live up to its potential. Every YouTuber at the time had videos telling you to hold on to it, but Bungie decided Dawn would be the final season to get its loot sunset. With perk combos like Rapid Hit and Firing Line, people thought that after the recent sniper nerfs in Shadowkeep that it would finally carve a niche for LFR. This was not the case, as it ended up getting sunset in the very first season that LFRs hit their stride. It was also severely outclassed by LFRs like Reed's Regret, eventually Cataclysmic. However, going into this season, Bungie revealed that the Dawn weapons will be making their return, and some people mistakenly believed this would be Line in the Sand's chance to actually be usable, and unfortunately, someone at Bungie must have a hate on for this thing, because it has some of the worst stats out of any LFR. In column 3, it gets Clown or Demolitionist, and has Firing Line, Bait and Switch, and Reservoir Burst in the final column. This is unfortunately all too little too late, and not helped much by its terrible stat package and the fact that it's just a regular precision frame. LFRs have not been top dog for a while now, and especially not precision frame ones with the exception of Cataclysmic. So Bungie brought this thing back in a season where it's not only off meta, but also already power crap. Bait and Switch used to do much more damage when Cataclysmic was in its prime, but now it's on par with Firing Line. Perks like Clown and Demo can't save this thing. We also got Scintillation, Scintillation, whatever the fuck it's called, which is a three burst and automatically does more damage out the gate. It gets Rewind Rounds, Bait and Switch, and Surrounded. Both it and Line in the Sand can be enhanced, but they're both not useful for damage right now. Scintillation could be in the future, but not line in the sand. While some people might be thinking, okay, they brought back a mid gun and it's still mid, why would they bother unsunsetting it then? Just to fuck with us? I'm not even that big of a fan of the gun, but this feels oddly personal. Now that being said, we have gotten so many great LFRs over the past year. Doomed Petitioner, Scintillation, Briar's Contempt, and Fire and Forget even from Season of the Seraph, which I know was the last season before Lightfall, but still. Three burst LFRs just automatically do more base damage than regular precision frame LFRs, unless they actually have some kind of perk combo or you have some kind of build that lets them actually push their damage much further than normal. However, things like sniper rifles are much better right now. The Supremacy does more damage in two shots than one precision hit from Line in the Sand, and that's without damage perks on either of them, which is a little fucking crazy, because the Supremacy has much more ammo, it has a much better ammo economy, and it can regenerate ammo with the perk combination of Rewind Rounds and Fourth Times the Charm. This thing is ridiculously good, and it makes it so that bad LFRs just do not have a place, especially with those sniper artifact mods we got recently. So it's looking like LFRs are not going to be usable at all this season. We just started Act 2, and we still have Act 3 afterwards. So unless they're planning on doing some big LFR buff or some kind of rocket nerf in the next season, we're kind of, we're just not going to be able to use this thing. It's already forgettable and there's no point holding on to it unlike last time. There was at least some kind of potential, but now we already have weapons that outclass it. Before there were LFRs that just weren't very good, didn't have good perk combos. It was mostly those ice frame ones from year one and the red war and shit that just were not good. But now we have so many options that outclass it and we have so many options with better origin traits. This thing doesn't have vice stinger, scintillation does. It's not a three burst, scintillation is. It doesn't get anything super worthwhile in the third column, it gets clown and it gets demo, but rewind rounds and envious assassin absolutely clear that any day of the week, especially since those can be enhanced. Enhanced demo doesn't really do that much on a heavy weapon, same with enhanced clown on a heavy weapon. It's gonna be okay, but it's still not as useful as things like envious or rewind rounds. Now I'd like to clarify, I'm not saying I want rockets to get nerfed or anything, but it is pretty exhausting that we can't ever have more than one type of heavy weapon really be meta at the same time. Machine guns were never really meta for damage. Thunderlord doesn't really count because it was okay, but it still was not as good as rockets. It's not as good as Microcosm at this point, I think. And that's crazy. Microcosm does more damage than any LFR right now. There's really no point in trying to hold on to Line in the Sand. There was no point in Bungie even bringing it back if they were going to do it like this. The fact that Sunsetting was meant to remove bloat from the game, then they decided to bring back a weapon that could have been good, didn't change its stat package, despite the fact that they've done that for several hand cannons due to power creep, they decided to make this thing just like sales by pitch glass and just a useless piece of junk to fill the seasonal loot pool and make it harder to get the weapons that you actually want. That's pretty much it. I literally didn't plan on making this video until I saw the TikTok I'm going to have in the video at the end. Yeah, do you guys think Line in the Sand is actually going to be useful at any point? Do you guys think LFRs should actually come back? Did you guys hate the LFR DPS meta? Do you guys like rockets now? I don't know. Just leave comments down below and let me know.